Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over tonight's NHL slate. And boy, oh boy, last night was quite a sweat. Uh, we almost got there in a couple of tournaments, and then uh, some of those late games just totally went off at the end. Uh, but the uh, process was good, the lineups looked good, and uh, it was definitely fun. So we're going to do the same process again today. We're going to take a quick look at the games, then we're going to look at the Sheets, and then we will uh, build a hand-built lineup, and then we will build our regular lineups. So first thing I want to look at is just the team totals in general. Uh, using Sabre Sim, you have Vegas at 3.9. And then you, oh, you have Watt, New Jersey at 4.3. So it looks like New Jersey would tend to be the highest scoring team, at least implied by the odds. Followed by Vegas followed by uh, a couple like Minnesota and Dallas um, from a betting perspective and the Rangers from a betting perspective. I think it's actually a really good bet by the way to take San, uh, San Jose uh, Vegas is coming off of the, their home opener where they had the celebration of the Stanley cup and on all that stuff. And they played a good game too. And now they're going into San Jose for their home opener. Uh, I think this is a very, very strong play, actually. So uh, I will, I'll probably be betting that. Um, probably my first hockey bet in a long time, but I think it's very, very solid. Okay. So then uh, let's now take a look at our sheets and see what uh, the various plays would look like. And again, what we try to do is just kind of step back and, you know, just take a, a overall, you know, 10,000 foot view and look at these guys. And essentially what we're trying to accomplish is find guys from the same team who um, who rate really well. And we're trying to look at maybe top 20. And if you can find multiple guys from the same team who appear here, they're probably going to be good plays in hockey. Um, now, if we want to get greedier, we would love to have team guys that are also on the same line, either the same EV line or the same power play line. Um, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to build a, a lineup. And then we'll go into Saberson. So when we look at this first, here's a couple of things I notice. Literally the first time I'm looking at this. I do see when you rate these by sheets value score, which is the way I like to rank these, is you do have a really, really solid one off or solid play in Tyler uh, Toffoli. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, New Jersey does look to have one of the highest team totals. So uh, I believe that this is where you're going to find the best play is something with Toffoli. And then you look down, you just have Meyer. Now it's a different line though. Like Meyer's on the second even strength line, the first power play line. So it's not hundred percent ideal, but these things do kind of change sometimes. Uh, and then you have Hughes, who's a one, two and Nico Hersheiser is a one, two. So you want to, you know, it's not exactly pure, but that looks like a really strong place to start. Um, next thing I see is kind of a expensive bunch of Minnesota guys. You know, Caprizov and Gustafsson and Elk or Eck, who are on the first power play line and the second regular line. Actually, uh, Gustafsson's a goalie, excuse me. So Caprizov. Zuccarella, Hartman, Eck, and they're all, I presume, going to be on the first power play line. Not even. Hartman is not. He's on the first regular line. So, again, not pure, uh, but it, it looks pretty good. Then I see the Vancouver guys, uh, actually just the center, so that's not a big deal. So that's pretty much my first look, is, is you probably want to play – these Jersey guys. Now, who else am I looking at here? Vancouver, uh, who else from Vegas? You have Eichel. You play March Assault down here. But aside from that, it doesn't look like a really pure, a pure slate. You know, you have a couple of random one-offs here, like Patrick Lane. I guess you can compare him, pair him with these guys down here. So it might be one of those slates where the hand builders really are at a disadvantage because it doesn't seem 100% clear what I want to do. But I think what we should probably do is play jerseys, 
and work from there. So the first thing I want to do is you want to take, in my opinion, the cheapest rated goalie who looks good. Uh, Logan Thompson's 8,200. But then you have Gustafsson, who's 7,900. So let's go ahead and play him. And we'll just get started. So let's uh, build the lineup. We'll start with the cheaper goalie here. That would be Gustafsson. And let's just see if we can't get in those New Jersey guys that we talked about. Um, let's remind us of who they are. That would be Toffoli, Meyer, Hughes, Hershiser. Herkshire. Let's start with those. Did we say Hughes? Yeah, Hughes is in there. Hughes is 9K. Wow. This is tough. This is going to be a tough, uh, tough sled. Meyer, Toffoli. Who else was it? Toffoli. Meyer, Hughes, oh, Herkshire, right? Okay, you play these four, and it leaves you 4150 a man. So let's see if there's any good cheap one-offs that we maybe saw first. Yeah, so Alexander Barbanov at 2500 looks like a very, very strong one-off. Um, and it's also from that team that we want to play, right? So this is actually kind of interesting. I look down, I see Mike Hoffman, who's also from San Jose. And they're both going to be on the first power play line. So let's go ahead and do that. I think that looks like a good salary saver there. So San Jose, Hoffman, and then San Jose, Barbanov. I'm in the utility. And we got plenty of money. This works. So what we could do is we could take like a defenseman from the San Jose power play line, or we could take a defenseman from the Jersey power play line and then play a one-off. Again, you have to play skaters from three teams. So we can leave one blank so we don't fill it all in, but let's just see. Uh, first defenseman I get to, Hamilton is 6,300. Okay, I could do that if I want to. Or if I didn't want to do that, who's the San Jose defenseman? Um, San Jose wing. Now, again, we could sort this a little better. But we're not really getting to any San Jose defenseman at all, so maybe we should just go for Dougie Hamilton. So, Dougie Hamilton. Where? Where's the first San Jose guy? Well, that's terrible. We're down to Mario Ferraro all the way down here on our list, so we can't really give all that up. So let's play Hamilton. And then we just need a $3,600 one-off at defense, which I'm sure we can find. And I think that's probably a good place to start, you know, and it builds itself. It's probably chalky, so we have to adjust for that. But what's a good defenseman, 3600 You know, it's, uh, we're listed here. It's the first one we see. This guy's 2600 This one's 3600 So Travis Sanheim, use him. And then we're good. Um, okay, so now let's go to Saber Sam and let's see what they have to say about these whole proceedings. Um, first thing I want to do is I got to put in the contest things we haven't done yet. So we're going to put in uh, Puck Drop, which is the, um, whatchamacallit, the MME. And let's just see what those are, actually. Let's see what the, um, you have to fill in how many, uh, you have to fill in how many uh, players. Actually, it's called a kick save today. So it's 6274. So it's actually the kick save. 6274. And it's going to be how much to first? 25% uh, to first. That looks good. And then we're going to do the top shelf, which is the bigger buy-in. Shelf, 
In that one, you have uh, me, 270 people in and 25% for first. So 270, 25% for first, top shelf, and we're good. Okay, so let's now upload the projections to Saberson. Boom. Let's just see what they come up with. Oops. Uh, see what they come up with. Oh, these guys are out. All right, so we'll exclude those. And again, we have to update the projections a little later. So we'll play, we'll build 40 lineups. Well, actually, we're going to build 5,000 lineups. And we're going to pick our top 40 and put them in the, uh, in the, uh, what you call it, the kick save and the top shelf. And I wonder what we would get. Uh, I I find it hard to believe that Saberson doesn't give us a lot of jersey. I just couldn't see uh, what, what else to do. But that's what's cool about running these 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 algorithms and these optimizers is it it does a much better job of piecing these guys together these highly correlated sports than I could by hand. So let's just see what we come up with. Um, loading. Now, before we could run the contest sims, I can see what we're looking at for now. Basically, nothing that I mentioned. <laughs> Very little Jersey, mostly Philly and Minnesota. What the hell do I know? So let's run the contest sims. See what we come up with. And to answer your question that's lingering, what if your contest sim analysis completely differs from your just regular instinct hand-built analysis. In hockey, I'm just going to go with, for the MME, I'm going to go with the contest sim approach and trust the algorithm. Um, I, I did a lot of, do a lot of work with projections. I'll put my own twist on that. As far as actually lineup builds, there's no way I'm messing with that. Um, okay. Kick save. We, we sort by R, by risk adjusted ROI, and there we get all the devils. Okay. Makes sense now. Uh, stack exposure, four threes, five twos, some four twos. So I might want to actually, this is the one thing that I do that I probably I should regret is, is Xing out these, you know, non-traditional, um, these non-traditional stack exposures. But, it makes sense to me, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so uh, once again, team stacks, mostly Jersey, but then there's Philly, Minnesota, et cetera. So what we're going to do is we'll save these to the kick save. We have to uh, upload the file here. Oops. Yep. Then... Save it to the kick save contest. See this jiggle? That means that saved something. Now, what I could have done is change to min uniques two, which is actually probably a good idea. So let's 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 do that actually. Change that to min uniques two, just a little more variance, and then we will um, save the top shelf lineup. Actually, not ROI. We're going to make it risk-adjusted ROI. Not going to matter too much. We're just going to do one lineup. And that one actually has the Rangers, um, which is interesting. But I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to put that in for now. So I'm going to have to look at this again um, to make sure that, you know, especially for the big buy-in that I would want a Saberson build to just override my regular build. But um, I don't know. That's the process. That's what I'm doing tonight. And I'll do it a little bit closer to lock um, after we get some line changes and things like that. But that's what I would recommend you guys doing as well. Uh, okay. So I got to upload these now. And I will make some, some changes to projections as we do get closer to lock. I'm probably leaving at about 630 though. So that'll be the last one that we see. And that will do it. Good luck, everybody.